everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to give an update on this radio frequency machine that I got from Shopee and which I reviewed last March. So marami akong nakuhang comments asking for any updates at marami rin questions na natanggap ako. So I'm going to answer the 5 key points that I received. Number 1. So, marami nagtatanong saan ko daw nabili yung RF machine. So, may answer to that. Di ko pala siya nalagay doon. It's in a shop called Forest Store PH sa Shopee. At nakuha ko siya for 2,428 pesos. So, yan. Di masyado kasi ng clear But I will flash it sa screen na to later on. And then, um, because I used Shopee points and coins, naging 2,000 331 pesos na lang siya inclusive of delivery charge. So I'm looking at the page right now ni forreststore.ph at sold out na siya. So although may PH yung kanyang pangalan, it's actually based in China. Although it was delivered to me on time and actually very quickly considering that I ordered it um, nung pasimula na yung ECQ. So the good news is that it's still working. So maayos pa siya, gumagana pa siya. And actually, I was, I'm surprised kasi in 4 months, I only charged this twice. At my husband and I are sharing this. At kumagana siya, maayos pa, at may battery pa siya. So, second na nakukuha kong tanong, paano mo ba siya nililinis? So, two ways. Number one, I just wipe it with cloth or tissue. Since paggamit mo, basa siya dahil gumagamit tayo ng gel. But for hygienic purposes, since nagsishare nga kami, gumagamit ako nitong UV wand. So after gamitin, pupunasan ko siya ng tissue and then nilalagay ko to or ginagamit ko tong UV wand to kill the bacteria and the viruses na meron. Ngayon, ang nakita ko lang talaga dito is if makikita ninyo, Doon sa mismong head niya, napansin ko na parang nakakaroon siya ng mga madumi sa sulok-sulok or sa loob nung kanyang head. So because of that, manually, tinatry ko siyang linisin using um, toothpick or you can use your nails. So yun ang kanyang um, negative point. So ako, honestly, ang masasuggest ko, kasi this one, you can actually replace the head as I demonstrated no, in the first video, in the review video, natatanggal siya. So maganda siguro kung papalitan nyo na lang itong head na to every so often. Or if you are sharing this with another person, magkaroon kayo ng designated heads for each of you para talagang hygienic siya. Pero again, over time, nakakaroon siya ng mga ganyan na parang feeling ko mat nagiging madumi siya or baka nag-accumulate um, siya ng mga bacteria. Third, marami rin akong nakuhang comments asking if pwede ba siya sa my braces or actually when I use it kasi in the demo, I was wearing my earrings, my ring and um, binalikan ko ang kanyang manual at uh, nakita ko dun sa manual niya. Ayan. Babasahin ko. Nakalagay dito um, treatment body are prohibited or is prohibited from wearing any metal item. So, it it seems like hindi pala pwede or hindi maganda. Although, hindi ko naman natamaan ng RF machine yung mga metal parts nung ginamit ko siya. Also, wala naman ako nakitang um, kakaiba, wala namang nangamoy, wala namang sumakit nung ginamit ko siya. Even though I was wearing my makeup, uh, my, my jewelry. So, hindi ko alam ang kanyang totoong effect. So, ako naman, ginagamit ko lang to usually before sleeping. So, I'm not wearing anything anymore. I just have my clean face with me. So, I don't think um, it will be an issue. Um, someone asked if you can use this if you have braces. I am not sure um, of the answer. Although, again, if you will not um, touch naman your braces naman, hindi mo naman siya i-RF sa nipin mo. Uh, parang I don't see any issue. And when you go to an RF, you know, um, spa or salon, hindi ko rin alam if uh, binabawal nila ito sa mga may braces or hindi. So, as I mentioned earlier, the fourth point that I want to say is, yes, it's still working, but meron kaming napansin, actually, when I turn it on kasi, and I start to use it, pag ginanon mo siya sa balat mo, Ayan. Nag-red siya, right? Pero, napansin namin na habang ginagamit mo siya, sometimes it's not as sensitive 
Meaning, minsan, nakadaplis na siya sa balat mo. Pero, hindi pa rin siya umiglaw ng ganyan. Although, napansin ko, minsan ginagawa ko kasi pag nangyayari yun, dinadaplis ko siya sa palad ko to check, no, kung may sira ba. Nag-work naman. So, siguro sa contour lang ng mukha na hindi kasi siya super flat, may curves. So, baka hindi ganun ka-sensitive yung head. Minsan, feeling niya hindi pa rin gumagana o kaya feeling niya hindi nakalapat sa mukha kaya hindi nag-re-red or nagbabibrate. Okay? And last but not the least, ang gusto ko talagang sagutin sa mga tanong ninyong lahat ay, do, you, do I think it's effective and would I recommend it? Um, honestly, hindi ko siya nagagamit consistently enough to say that yes, it is effective. Kung gamitin ko siya, siguro uh, mga once a week lang. But ang suggestion kasi is you use it twice to thrice a week. Kaya lang talagang nakakatamad siyang gamitin. Because you need time, kailangan buong mukha siya. And hindi naman ganun kadami yung oras ko gabi-gabi habang or bago ko tulog para magawa ko siya. And second, I'm also using um, skincare products, mga creams and serums. So, hindi ko alam kung ano ba yung nag-work. If it's the serums, the creams, or is it the RF machine. So, um, sa totoo sin, hindi ko masasabi na it's effective. Hindi ko rin masasabi na may kahit konting change sa balat ko that I can attribute solely to the RF machine. Um, so, if ang tanong sa akin is knowing what I know now, will I still buy it or will I not buy it? Unfortunately, my answer would be no. I probably would not buy it for the sole reason that it's um, time-consuming, hindi pala ako ganun kasi pag to use it consistently. And more importantly, I think whatever this can achieve can be achieved by um, having a good skincare routine. So, the 2300 that I spent on this, siguro I would rather spend it if gagawin ko siya ulit on good creams or good skincare. And no, unfortunately, I would not purchase it again. Although, again, walang problema dun sa machine. Okay na okay pa siya except nga yung ulo niya na parang madumi na or ayan, hindi maganda. This is ano ha, kahit na um, diligent naman ako sa paglinis. Naging ganito pa din siya. At considering na 4 months pa lang siya nasa akin at hindi siya ganun kadalas nagagamit, naging ganyan pa din siya. Okay? So, that's it. Um, I hope you uh, had, um, you know, information that you want with this video. Thank you so much and do not forget to like and subscribe and put your comments down below if you still have questions and I will try to answer them as much as I can. Thank you. Bye-bye.